Uncle Sam has an insatiable appetite for spending. In this episode, I'm going to give you my prediction about more tax increases in the near future. Get ready. I'm going to give you my take and the reasons why I believe that. And more importantly, what you can do to protect yourself from the negative impact of rising taxes. So my name's Doug Andrew and I've been a financial strategist and a retirement planning specialist now for more than 48 years. And I've noticed that many people throughout their lifetime, as they sock away money for long-term goals such as retirement, if they do not learn uh, how to make themselves immune from the negative impact of taxes, inflation, and market volatility, they will likely outlive their money. So I'm going to explain why and what you can do to eliminate those three dangers in your life uh, on your serious cash that you're setting aside. So this episode is about my prediction uh, as far as more tax increases in the near future. Yep, unfortunately, I see it coming because the uh, most recent legislation for tax increases uh, is not going to be enough. Uh, the government has this huge appetite. They are spending like crazy faster than any government in history. And uh, the tax increases and the printing of money is not keeping up. And I don't think they're going to be cutting. That means they're going to have to come up with more and more ways to raise taxes. And I think it's going to get out of control and it could cause uh, some major revolution in this country. And I do love America. I hate to see this happening, but I want you to be immune from uh, taxes going up. And it's actually simpler than you may think. In the year 2019, the government spent uh, 6.2 trillion, about double what they took in in income. And then COVID-19 hit, which impacted us in 2020. They spent uh, about 9.2 trillion. They didn't even bring in half that in revenue. I mean, hello, if you're making a certain amount of money, a hundred thousand and, and you keep spending double that, you, how long can you do that? Well, instead of tightening their belt, they're actually spending more. They're trying to spend their way out of uh, a recession or unemployment or a pandemic. It's not going to work. And so uh, a lot of uh, the legislation has been for all kinds of spending, uh, $5 trillion for this infrastructure and what have you. It looks like uh, they are going to be spending more like 15 trillion or more, even though they only have about one third of that amount coming in. So where's the money going to come from? They either have to print money or raise taxes. Now, they can only print so much. How much are they printing? About a hundred billion new dollars every month. A trillion is being printed every 10 months. What does that cause? Inflation. When you infuse more and more uh, paper dollars into the American economy, it causes inflation and the cost of goods and services go up because the dollars are worth less. It's supply and demand, okay? The more supply of money, okay, then the cheaper those dollars become. That's why, you know, we buy diamonds in, in carrots, but we buy dirt by the yard. It's so cheap uh, because it's worth less. Well, that's what happens when you have more, more, more dollars. Uh, they become more plentiful. Therefore, they are worth less. It's simple economics, but you would think politicians would understand this, but they keep trying to spend their way out of their problems and it's not going to work. When we talk about tax increases and inflation, the current tax proposals from the Biden administration are increases in income taxes. And they say, well, that's just on high income earners making over 400,000 and so forth. Well, yeah, but they're affecting people who put money into 401ks. For example, uh, Biden uh, no longer wants you to be able to report the net after your 401k contribution. If you were making 100,000 a year and you contributed 15,000 to a 401k, 
for years, you only had to report 85,000 on your 1040 tax return. Now he wants the whole 100,000 reported and he'll give you a tax credit. He's talking about like 26%, which means uh, a middle to high income earners just had a tax increase. Well, what's gonna affect the lower income and middle income people is what I call the hidden tax, it's inflation. See, those on lower incomes, uh, they're gonna have a hard time making it because Biden has increased corporate taxes. Oh, tax the rich. Well, if you raise corporate taxes to 28% from 21%, he says that's only 7%. No, it's 33% more on a million dollars of corporate profit. Corporations uh, used to pay 210,000 in tax. Now they're going to pay 280. That's 70,000 more, which is 33% more than they used to pay. They can't afford it. Now, sometimes politicians say, oh, sure, they can afford it. Well, the only way that they can afford it, because most corporations only operate on two or 3% profit margins. Did, did you know that? They're forced to do one of two things, lay off people, or uh, change to automation and get rid of people. So unemployment's gonna go up. Or uh, they have to raise the price of goods and services. And so that means people, even if they have their minimum wage raised to 15 or whatever, 20, 25 dollars, it doesn't do much good because it's eaten up at the gas pump and the hamburger stand because of inflation. Now, even though this episode is not really about inflation, inflation is like a hidden tax and it's going to continue to hurt the uh, lower and middle income people uh, because of the indirect hidden tax that inflation is. But with all of this, I've done the math. There is no way when you tax just the rich and the corporations, you will come up with enough money to cover the extra $10 trillion the government is spending more than what they bring in it doesn't work out. And so they're gonna have to raise taxes more and more and more. And that's why Biden, you know, he realized that uh, the capital gain tax being doubled and taking away the step up in basis uh, was not popular. And so he's gonna gently raise it from 20% up to 25. And then it will get up to 30 and then it get up to 40. Mark my word. He'll do away with the step up in basis. They're gonna gently keep raising taxes. Almost on a daily basis, I post, uh, a video, it's usually educational about how to optimize your financial assets, minimize taxes and so forth. But many of the episodes are my predictions to help you understand what you can do to protect yourself. This is free. So this is called Three Dimensional Wealth and I have over 500 educational videos on this channel. Subscribe and click on the little bell and you'll be notified every time I post a, a new episode, which I do almost on a daily basis. But uh, share with somebody you think would appreciate learning this or watching this. Also, I want you to stay with me to the end of this episode. I wanna gift you a copy of my most recent best-selling book called The Laser Fund because it will show you how to make yourself immune from the negative impact of taxes and inflation on your hard-earned money. So let's go back to this metaphor. Years ago, I heard a story that uh, Sometimes uh, down in the South, uh, it seems a little bit cruel, that, but they would get a pot of water and put it on the fire and, and they would put bullfrogs in it and the water would start to heat up. Now, I think this sounds pretty cruel, but the frogs would start swimming around and they thought everything was fine because it would just get gradually warmer and warmer and warmer, but they wouldn't hop out. They just got used to it until they were boiled to death. You know, I've been thinking a lot about that and I think that's what's happening here in America. They, they turn up the heat, uh, the, the inflation rate and the taxes and they, they raise them, they raise them and they keep increasing that and uh, they're just slowly heating it up and we're just swimming around here in America and we just sort of put up with it and we sort of say, okay, well, prescriptions are gonna cost this and da, 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 I can't believe a used car cost 28,000. The same car last year cost only 21,000 and we just sort of accept it and they turn up the heat and turn up the heat. So my prediction is taxes are gonna keep going up up, up. In fact, the uh, uh, General Accountability Office says in order to cover the spending that they uh, have created, they're going to need to collect between 40% up to 67% in tax. Folks, that's ridiculous. And so 
you need to be prepared. What I want you to do is learn how to protect yourself from the negative impact of taxes and inflation. So how can you do that? As a financial strategist, I've been helping people do exactly that now for more than 48 years. My favorite vehicle that allows people like you to accumulate your money totally tax-free, not just tax-deferred, but also be able to access your money tax-free, uh, and you don't have to wait till retirement to do it, but to be able to have tax-free income. The IRS will know you're receiving it, but they know it's tax-free. And then when you ultimately pass away, anything you leave behind at death, blossoms, increases in value, and transfers income tax-free. Now, nothing else that I'm aware of does that in the Internal Revenue Code except a maximum funded indexed insurance contract that allows you to participate when the market is going up but not lose when the market goes down. But under three sections of the Internal Revenue Code, Section 72E, 7702, and 101A, this has been a sacred tax-free cash cow for over 108 years. The precedent has been set. In fact, the lobby is so strong that I doubt they will ever tax these because it's been a sacred tax-free cash cow for more than 100 years. You'll learn why and how. Uh, could Congress change it? Yes, but um, frankly, they would probably lose their next election. And many Congress people put their money into these instruments. Now, not all of these would qualify to be what I call a LASER fund. LASER is an acronym that stands for Liquid Assets Safely Earning Return. And so I wrote a book about this. Now, I don't have time in this episode to explain it. There's a lot of episodes on this YouTube channel, Three Dimensional Wealth, that you can sort of search and learn about this. But if you want to read, I'll gift you a copy of this 300-page book. It retails for $20 on Amazon. I'll pay for the book. You simply go to laserfund.com or click on the link below and uh, you contribute a nominal amount towards the shipping and handling. I'll fire out a copy to you and uh, you can read and learn, but there's options there if you'd rather uh, listen and learn or watch and learn. There's even an 18-hour master class if you'd like. But I want you to claim your free copy. It's two books in one. This white-covered site is 200 pages, 14 chapters with all kinds of charts and graphs and explanations of how to diversify and create the foundation for a tax-free retirement. If you learn more by stories, you flip the book over like that. And uh, this has 12 chapters, about 100 pages, with 62 chicken soup for the financial soul stories of how people have used the laser fund as a dream solution for goals like retirement, college funding for your kids and grandkids, uh, working capital for business, emergency funds, estate planning, real estate management, on and on and on. It's, it's like a financial Swiss army knife. It has all kinds of uses. So folks, claim your free copy, subscribe to this channel, and uh, even though my prediction for the purchasing power and also tax increases does not look good, it doesn't matter because I'm immune from those where I have my money in a diversified portfolio of laser funds. Learn why and how you can make yourself immune from taxes and inflation.